there! Do you ever wonder what your body does when you get stressed or scared? Maybe it was a random bear or your mommy's hair. Although our ancestors' fight or flight response was triggered by physical threats such as a wild animal ready to attack, our modern day activation of this mechanism can still be a physical threat but can also be something like a stressful test, traffic, or a missed deadline. Our friend Little Blue Riding Hood here faces a similar mechanism that our bodies go through during the fight or flight response when she goes to visit her grandpa. It's such a nice day today. I hope grandpa likes the cookies I made. Hi there, Little Blue Riding Hood. How are you doing this fine day? I'm just excited to drop these cookies off at grandpa's. Just be careful, you. You know what they say about the mean bad wolf out here. I'll be fine, bird. Don't you worry. <gasps> Little Blue Riding Hood, while using her senses, hears and sees the wolf. Little Blue Riding Hood. <gasps> you scared me, Amygdala. Listen to the noise I just heard. I hear it. I must go tell King Hypothalamus now. We need help. Shh. The wolf will hear us. I'm so sorry. You know I'm very emotional and this is making me feel very antsy and afraid. Amygdala hides Little Blue Riding Hood behind the tree and runs to King Hypothalamus's chamber. King Hypothalamus! King! 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 The IR Command Center! You were responsible for controlling so many vital functions of our city. I know you require the help of others to transport your message and help you, so this is why I came to you. We need your help! The wolf is back in the forest! Thank you for letting me know, Amygdala. I will take matters into my own hands now and call Mr. Autonomic to release a sympathetic team. Mr. Autonomic, I need a quick release of the sympathetic team. They are really good at talking to the adrenal gland brothers. Don't send the parasympathetic team because they are just going to slow us down. They seem to be resting always. Don't you worry. I will send the sympathetic team to talk to the adrenal gland brothers, your highness. Okay, boys, the king needs our help. The wolf is back and he needs a sympathetic team to talk to the adrenal gland brothers for backup. Yes, sir. Adrenal brothers, we need your help. The wolf is back. We know that you have many different teams available for protecting our city and keeping everything under control. Speak no more. We have a special team for dealing with the wolf. Epinephrine team, it is your time. Now go out there and show that wolf what you're made of. Epinephrine team, attack! While the epinephrine team was attacking the wolf, the undercover HPA access team was getting prepared. The king continues to perceive the wolf as a danger and feels that him and his team will need to step in. Within the HPA team, they each send a group of individuals to create a special cortisol team. This team is used for backup and is on high alert. Thanks everyone! Now I can give these cookies to my grandpa! And they all lived happily ever after while the cortisol team secretly goes back to their respective locations. Just like Little Blue Riding Hood's adventure through the forest, this similar mechanism applies to our bodies. Let me give you a quick recap of the process. It starts off with a sensory perception of the threat. From there, this information is processed by the amygdala, which is the emotionally processing system of the brain. Then, the amygdala sends information to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus will activate the sympathetic nervous system, which is the branch in the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system controls involuntary body functions and branches into the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for rest and digest, and the sympathetic nervous system is a part of the fight or flight response. Signals will then be sent to the adrenal glands, and those glands will release epinephrine into the bloodstream. If the brain continues to believe a danger exists, the hypothalamus activates the second part of the stress response. This is the HPA axis which consists of the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and the adrenal glands. The hypothalamus releases the corticotropin-releasing hormone, which targets the anterior pituitary gland and will release the adrenocorticotropic hormone. This hormone will target the adrenal glands and will allow for the release of cortisol. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and for more interesting facts about demystifying medicine at McMaster, check out our website.